TFNN Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently, we've got all the U.S. indices trading lower. The Dow off by 109. The S&P down 11. NASDAQ 100 off 80. Russell's down 24. Semis are off 52. Tranny's down 85. New York Stock Exchange is off 76 uh, points, 74 points out here. You've got gold off. Four bucks, silver down 32 cents, and lights recruit is up 87 pennies. My apologies, folks. Usually I like to go to the ETF charts or the indices during the 2 p.m. update, but I've got uh, some kind of technical issue going on, and uh, we're just going to have to go to my typical 1 p.m. update, the nine panel charts out here. Uh, so let's uh, do this. What do we know? We begin by taking a look at the ES Mini. That's in our upper left hand corner. We know it's got a valid TD9 count top, but only gets negated with a close of about 45.49.50. Price has pulled back and has tested and has held support. And that support level is the top of its daily profile, 44.98. Sometimes old resistance, which that was, becomes new support. If price closed below 44.98, we're looking at a run to the 44.67, 44.52. That remains a possibility as long as that spot volatility is above its 50-day exponential moving average. 17.54 is the 50-day. It's trading at 18.40. The NQ is attempting to form a new daily profile. That new daily profile won't be confirmed until this evening at 6.01 this evening. Doesn't mean that it's not valid. It just means it has not been confirmed. Support here is at 15.487. Resistance 15.708 and 15.699 is its TD9 break uh, threshold resistance. Price needs to close above that in order to negate its topping pattern. If we go take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it's made its move up to the top of its bullish structured daily profile. We looked at that during the last hour. In the last segment, we see that price is below its oscillator and change line, and the euro has tested and rejected its oscillator and change line. This suggests that the U.S. dollar index could pull back or should pull back to 92.35 or 92.07. If, in fact, that happens, we should see gold move higher. It's held support, the bottom of its daily profile, and that's at a price point of 1786. Silver, stronger than gold because it is still above the top of its daily profile, found resistance at the center of its weekly, which was at 2491. Lights Week Crude, trying to stay above the top of its daily profile. That's at 6852. Natural gas, strong like gold. And the 30-year Treasury just consolidating sideways. It has been for a couple of months out here. Folks, stay tuned for David White. The uh, Power Trading Hour is up next. Have a wonderful Wednesday. I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Take care.